Alright, so uh, now I want to create a Django project. I've got my um, command prompt open. I'm going to create my project directory in my documents. So I'm going to cd into my documents. And you create a project directory using the Django admin uh, utility. So Django admin.py. If I hit enter, um, you see that it is not uh, recognized as an internal or external command. So um, I've got Django installed, I've got Python installed, so what this means is that script is not on your path. So here's here's how we can go ahead and do this. Um, in my root hard drive, I've got Python 2.7. Within Python 2.7 is a scripts directory, and right there is Django admin.py. So what I'm going to do in my address bar, I'm going to copy the path to that script. And then at my command prompt, I'm going to um, I'm going to paste that path, type another backslash, and then just type out Django admin.py. So what we did here is we, we typed the full path to the script. Alright, so to create a project we use the start project command. So I'm just going to hit the up arrow. So I've got the full path to Django admin.py space start project. And when we start a project, we have to give it a name, which I'm going to call it my, um, my site. So keep in mind we're in the My Documents folder. And once I hit Enter, within the My Documents folder, it creates a folder called My Site. So if I look inside there, there are all the files for a Django project. All right, very good. Now. What about this um, Django admin.py not being on the path? Um, you you could leave it as it is and always use the the full path to the script. You don't use Django admin.py that often. Um, there's a shortcut which we'll we'll find about soon enough. Um, but if you did want to put it on your path, you would right click on my computer and go down to properties or find your system properties from within um, your control panel. Under advanced you have environment variables and at, under system variables you need to edit the path. Uh, we did this to get Python on the path and so you click the edit button and next to variable value you go to the very end of this thing type a semicolon and then I'm just going to do control V to paste which puts the path to the, the scripts directory. So you hit OK, hit OK again, hit OK one more time. Um, you gotta kill your command prompt but once you open it again you should be able to type Django admin.py and it just runs. All right, so there you go. That's how you create a project and how you get Django admin on your on your system path.